Well, what is going on, fellow Helldivers? Welcome to the channel. Shock Radio here. We have received a massive patch and balance for the game Helldivers 2, and it has the community in a complete uproar from what I am seeing. They changed pretty much everything in the game, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to trying all this stuff. This kind of thing keeps games like this spicy and fresh and new. How long are we gonna use the same weapons with the same things and the same enemies before we just get bored, all right? So that's my like initial take on this. We're gonna break down like all the things in the patch notes and some of my commentary and all that and more, but real quick, a message from today's sponsor. Thanks for U4GM sponsorship. They are a web-based provider providing Helldivers 2 services. They have cheap and legitimate Helldivers 2 medals, samples, super credits, gold, and XP on sale. All you need to do is just send your friend code to them. Pretty easy. Use my discount code SHOCK for an extra 5% off. All right, guys, so jumping right into these patch notes. It is a lot here, so I'm gonna try to go quick, but also I wanna be thorough. So getting right into it, stratagems. The machine gun sentry has had increased health to match other sentries. Pretty awesome. Machine gun sentry never gets any love, so maybe this will put it in the forefront front of the player's loadout. Tesla Tower, they increased the health by 33%. Don't know what good that's going to do. No one uses Tesla Tower because it is pretty good at killing your teammates, but hey, now it's going to live longer. So that's good. Now the RL-77 Airburst Rocket Launcher, this is a patch that people were really, really looking forward to. And I believe it's going to be another patch for this weapon following this patch because the devs have said that there is multiple fixes planned for the Airburst Rocket Launcher. And the Airburst Rocket Launcher will no longer detonate when shot near stratagems, HMG turret, sentries, resupplies, and other Helldivers. They also reduce the proximity radius. This is great news. This was an, the ultimate team killing machine according to most players that have used it. So hopefully with this balance, it will reduce the amount of team killing going on and actually allow the, the projectile to reach its destination before exploding. Now on to some balancing with the enemies. Now all this stuff seemed pretty good. So balancing adjustments have been made to the bio spewer and nursing spewers. Move speed slightly reduced. I never really had a problem with their movement speed. I always use light armor, but perhaps if you're using like medium or heavy armor or the medic armor, maybe it's a problem. So uh, you know, enemies going a little bit slower, never really a bad thing. Hawks, force required, force required for them to stagger slightly increase that might not be good i misread that earlier so now it's going to take more force to stagger hawks that sucks we're going to see what that that's about today hawk scorcher direct flamethrower damage reduced by 20 percent. that's great news a lot of people were getting instantly fried by the hawk scorcher so no more of that devastator fire rate slightly increased only the standard devastator oh that's not good so bots are getting buffed oh gunship sideways movement slightly increased so people were shooting down gunships they're like well nah 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 you're gonna you're gonna miss scott right scott scout strider riders now less vulnerable to explosions no i wonder if the the, the uh, punisher plasma and the uh, scorcher will still take out scout striders oh man Fog generators, health and armor increase. Interesting. Gunship spawners now have a much lower cap on how many gunships they can have active at the same time. That's a fucking great thing, guys. That is absolutely amazing. There's so many gunships when you when you have like one of those gunship towers. Oh my god, it's brutal. All right, now moving on to some balancing with the enemy patrols. Now this has a lot of uh, up a controversy, I guess, with the community, but after reading this balance change over a few times, I actually get it and my mind is blown. The pieces fit together. I personally always thought it was easier to play as a solo player. It's one of the reasons I play solo. Anytime I join a group of four, I often get more overran. When I go to try and do solo objectives, I get absolutely demolished when I'm in a group of four compared to when I'm playing solo. And this explains it all, everybody. So let's elaborate and let's read what's going on. They unintendedly had non-linear scaling of the patrol spawns so they didn't spawn as often as they should have when less than four players. The intention is that one player has one fourth of the patrols compared to four players, 25%. But it used to be that they had one sixth, which is about 15% of the amount of enemies, which is absolutely insane. So they're balancing adjustment to the patrol spawn Patrol spawning has been increased when there are fewer than four players. The fewer the players, the bigger the change. For four player missions, there will be absolutely no change compared to before. The biggest noticeable change will be for solo players at higher difficulty. So basically, if you're solo, you have about, before you had about 15% of the amount of enemies when you played solo compared to if you played in a group of four. Well, it looks like with this one, you're going to have a 10% 
overall increase of enemies. You're going to go from 15% of the amount of enemies when you're solo to 25% of the amount of enemies. I am absolutely excited to drop into a solo hell dive and really challenge myself. So definitely uh, like and subscribe if you want a solo hell dive video. Hopefully I can put that one out today. So some changes to the gameplay. They made minor level generation improvements to how we distribute locations throughout the mission map. This should improve variation in distance between objectives and objectives will likely not spawn as far away from each other as often as before. That's pretty awesome. So there's giant maps, 40 minute missions where you felt like you were playing like Death Stranding, but the running simulator version, like the Death Stranding walking simulator, simulator on crack. Well, maybe they reduced that a little bit. Added settings in the options menu gameplay section to disable automatic climbing and vaulting while sprinting. So a lot of people were complaining that they were um, jumping on top of ammo boxes and, and all kinds of things. You know, you go to, to refill your ammunition and then next thing you know, you're just vaulting on top of the ammo box just to get headshot by one of the automatons. Well, now there's uh, supposedly something in the options menu so you can disable automatic climbing and vaulting while sprinting. So that's good news. Although you could just not sprint up to the objective. Anyway, the spread democracy mission, otherwise known as raise the flag, can now be enjoyed on higher difficulties for maximum freedom spreading. I have no idea why anyone would want to do that mission on higher difficulties. It is insanely boring. I'm sorry. You just stand there. You're raising a flag. Yay, freedom. Yay, democracy. That's dumb. When readying up, Helldivers now salute to ensure maximum democratic readiness. That's cool. Okay. Added ambience to the Tremor planetary hazard to underline severity so Helldivers can react accordingly. Added ambience to the Tremor planetary hazard to underline the severity. So, okay, so I guess Tremors are more crazy? Uh, interesting, I guess. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. I plan, I pr I'll probably read a lot of this wrong as I'm kind of going through it live with you guys here. Shots that ricochet from heavy armored enemies will now properly hit the Helldiver who fired them. Trigger discipline is highly recommended. This has people... Uh, very scared guys. So they're like, well, you're gonna you're gonna shoot a charger and then you're gonna headshot yourself because it's gonna bounce off the charger armor or like the automatons. If you don't get that exact headshot on the uh, the devastators or whatever, you're dead. We're, you know, we're gonna see. I haven't jumped into the game yet to try any of this stuff, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm super excited to try out this stuff. I don't really, I don't get into a, f a frenzy about like team kills or or dying in Hell Divers. I think like the people that are like, oh, I, I never die. It's a skill issue. I don't care, bro. I'm a hell diver. I dive into hell. We are we are sacrificial lambs meant to die. So I don't mind something like shots at rigged shape. Kill us. Doesn't matter to me. I'm prepared. Overview. For this patch, we have made improvements and changes to the following areas. Balance changes to weapons, stratagems, and enemies. Change to the spread democracy mission. So balancing. Armor. Armors with armor rating above 100 now also reduce damage to headshots. That's been a thing for a long time. You would be like crouching and those tiny little terminated bugs would hit you once and next thing you know you'd be like dead because somehow they hit your head and there's no armor for uh, for the head so that's pretty cool. Victory poses will now only play for the extracted. No stolen valor on my ship so that interesting. Uh, <laughs> primary, secondary, and support weapons. Now this is where Things get a little hairy, you know, the community manager spits and Discord was like, hey, we're buffing everything, don't worry guys, there'll only be like two nerfs. So we're gonna read through now and uh, see what they were talking about when they said only two nerfs and that they were just reducing magazine sizes mainly. So the CB9 exploding crossbow, slightly smaller explosion, increased stagger, that's good, decreased number of mags from 12 to eight, increased number of magazines received from resupply from six to eight, slight reduction in ergonomics, muzzle velocity in crease so uh slightly smaller explosion i mean the crossbow was cool but the eruptor was the main the main uh the main event of the last battle pass it seems anyway so we'll see how that works out now the last 99 quasar cannon uh has had some some serious changes here according to all the quesadilla users increased recharge time by five seconds that has people in a frenzy i personally don't see it as that bad like you shoot it you re-equip your main weapon, you run around, and you're done. Most of the people that I see using the KSR cannon really well are shooting it from all the way across the map anyway. They're like sniping objectives and things. I think I was watching uh, Crazy Mr. Pips play the other day. I mean, he was just, he was smashing automaton objectives from all the way across the map. This recharge time would have had no effect on his gameplay. So I know a lot of people are really uh, freaking out about the KSR cannon recharge time, but 
I, I think for what it's used for, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Now the BR-14 Adjudicator, full auto is now the default fire mode, reduced recoil, increased maximum max from six to eight, increased number of magazines from received from resupply from six to eight, now placed amongst assault rifles. So the Adjudicator, I've actually never personally used. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone use it. So they actually did buff it pretty good, it looks like. Yeah, reduced recoil, magazines, I mean, pretty good so are we gonna see people using the adjudicator we will see guys so the laser cannon slight increase in damage slightly reduced damage versus large volume bodies a lot of people were using the laser cannon for some pretty good stuff I'm wondering if the laser cannon will still uh, destroy shrieker nest I believe laser cannons were able to destroy shrieker nest before slight damage reduced for large volume bodies I wonder if that's gonna affect things like shrieker nest we are gonna see this next one I am super excited about, the SGAP Punisher Plasma, one of my favorite uh, kind of un underrated guns, I would say, in uh, Helldivers. They're decreasing the maximum mags from 12 to 8, which is fine, acceptable, increasing the amount of magazines received from resupply from 6 to 8, which is awesome. Now this one, they're increasing the projectile speed, but we'll still keep a similar range. I do like the range of the Punisher Plasma and the fact that you can kind of arc it over things. You can shoot from behind cover, so that's awesome. This one might might be actually huge they're decreasing the damage fall off on the explosion so basically further away from the explosion it does less damage well that kind of damage meter uh, doesn't take effect uh, quite as quickly so uh, more damage in a larger area kind of deal the same explosion radius but the fall off is less I did a terrible job explaining that but basically it's better anyway now placed in the energy weapons category so some pretty awesome changes coming to the Punisher plasma that I cannot wait to try arc 12 blitzer this is another one of my favorite weapons for fun and it looks like they gave it a lot of buffs so i'm actually really excited to try this one out they increased the shots per minute from 30 to 45 for the arc 12 blitzer placed it in the energy weapons category now one of the cool things about arc 12 blitzer you might not realize about it you can fire it while in mid-air while you're diving while you're moving it's pretty incredible like you're diving away from bugs and you're shooting at the same time awesome and now you're gonna be shooting much much faster like i am super super excited to try the arc 12 blitzer at least against terminates if not automaton it's probably going to be really good against terminated now now the r36 eruptor was basically the best weapon out of the last war bonds and i mean it, it just did so many good things from closing bug holes and fabricators from across the map I mean, it had so much ammo, you barely ever ran out of ammo, and they fixed all that. So, they decreased the number of maximum mags from 12 to 6. Basically, cut the ammo in half. It'll probably still be good. The explosion damage drops off slightly faster. So, I believe it had a range of, like, just under 200 meters, 150 meters. So, now it might not, it might not even have that range. A lot of people are complaining about it, saying it's a marksman rifle, it needs the range, yada, yada, yada. I mean, guys, this destroys objectives from across the map. Like, literally, I don't know if it, I think this is a good balance because, you know, closing bug holes and fabricators with your primary weapon 200 meters away, kind of broken. So this is definitely a balance. The last 16 sickle, this is the balance everyone was expecting. They decrease the amount of magazines from six down to three, basically cutting it in half. So you got to be just super careful uh, when you're playing on planets that are hot now because, yeah, you're going to be blown through some ammo. Uh, the Sith increased damage from 300 to 350 a decreased maximum number of mags from six down to four so a decrease in ammo and an increase in damage I've never actually I don't think I've ever used the scythe I need to I need to try it out so the railgun they buffed the railgun guys so all the railgun lovers that have been in hiding since the railgun nerf you guys can come come out now they increased the armor penetration in both safe mode and unsafe mode uh, stagger force slightly reduced uh, well, maybe not. Stagger force slightly reduced, so maybe it doesn't stagger as much. But the armor penetration is better now, so we'll, we'll have to test the railgun and see how it does against some heavy targets. Now, we need to take a sip of our coffee, guys. It, this is this is a massive uh, patch note, so yeah, we're, we're <laughs> it's high, yeah, we need some coffee. All right, guys. <clears throat> Where were we? Back up to the railgun. So the MG-101 heavy machine gun, uh, third-person crosshair has been enabled. The Diligence Counter Sniper, damage increased from 128 to 140, ergonomics improved. No one uses snipers. This game is really about staying, moving, running for your life. Maybe solo Helldivers might use snipers. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like snipers. How do you use snipers? 
I don't ever see anyone using snipers, so we'll see if this changes that. Diligence damage increase from 112 to 125. The P19 Redeemer, one of my favorite sidearms in Helldivers. They have a slight increase in the recoil. The Peacemaker increased damage from 60 to 75. The Senator increased damage from 150 to 175. Absolutely insane. This is a really powerful uh, pistol already, but it does have, you know, the it's a revolver, so it's, you know, six shots and you got to reload. Uh, but they added the speed reloader added when reloading on an empty cylinder. Speeds up reload on empty considerably. So the downfall to the Senator was it had a long reload times. You got six shots, six single shots, and then you had to reload. Well, they increased the damage and they increased the reload speed. We're gonna see a lot more senators out there. I mean, the senator was good before, so now it should be insanely good. The dagger, increased damage from 150 to 200. The liberator, damage increased from 55 to 60. Uh, this, so now we're getting into some, some buffs, guys. A liberator concussive, damage increased from 55 to 65. The dominator, damage decreased from 300 to 275 all right guys this next one has the community in shambles the guard dog rover the ultimate giver of skill in hell divers decreased damage by 30 percent guys rip a lot of people rely on that guard dog rover especially against bugs to keep those tiny little critters off of them and the damage has been decreased now the flip side the guard dog which is the machine gun variant of the guard dog rover has a slight increase in damage and burning damage reduced by 15 percent oh yeah sorry guard dog slight increased in damage oh no burning damage reduced by 15 percent no no you can't do that so the rip napalm the incendiary breaker is still broken i mean guys so that sucks i the incendiary breaker is my favorite weapon and it's still broken and they're reducing the burning damage so that sucks now those are all the buffs and nerfs how about some fixes guys they said that they have fixed a bunch of things so let's get into some of these crash fixes so they fixed the crash that could occur when hosts abandoned mission with the squad they fixed the crash that could occur if a player tried to encounter an occupied xo 45 patriot suit fixed crash that could occur for all players after or during mission results screen fixed a crash that could occur after shooting from the xo 45 patriot suits rocket launcher fixed crash that could occur for all players apart from the one that joined the ongoing mission with different armor and got reinforced wait what fixed crash that could occur for all players apart from the one that rejoined the ongoing mission with different armor and got reinforced i have no idea what that means it's too early for me i need more coffee and this video needs to go on, so I don't have time to comprehend what this means. There's a crash for having different armor. What? <laughs> Fix superior packing methodology. Methodology ship module not working properly. Pretty good there. Fix blast absorption ship module so it correctly increases sentry resistance to explosion. Wait a minute. Our sentries weren't even buffed this whole time? I didn't even know that. Oh shit. Fix issues where players could not navigate to the search results in the social menu. They fixed some issues where items equipped in a war bond were not actually equipped. What? Uh, fix an exploit that allowed overly eager hell divers to use grenades excessively. So the infinite uh, grenade hack is fixed. Is that what that means? Oh man. Fixed issues where kills from orbital barrage did not progress indirect fire exercise order. Uh, fixed issues that allowed traders to try to, to sabotage the extraction shuttle by deploying sentry stratagems below it. What? So people were deploying sentries below the extraction shuttle and blowing it up? That's fucked up. I've heard of some trolly things in Helldivers, but I've never heard of that happening, guys. Has that ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments. Fixed issues where ion storms incorrectly prevented extraction beacon from deploying. Oh, man. Imagine you're running out of time and you need to just extract and it's an ion storm and you can't extract. That's terrible. Fix some stratagem beams using incorrect color coding. What? They're all red. What do you mean? Are they sometimes blue? Fixed issue where the left stick on a controller could not be used to navigate the social media. They are doing a lot of fixes. Holy fixes. This is a lot of stuff, guys. Holy. Holy crap. Now, fix some issues where various UI elements were cut off, off-centered, or too close to the edge of the screen on ultra-wide displays.
They fixed the anti-material rifle facing away from the Helldiver after deploying it. They fixed a bug where a player could duplicate rounds by canceling the reload of anti-material rifle at a specific time. There's so many bugs I didn't even know existed in this. Fixed bug where anti-material rifle would consume an extra magazine after a canceled reload. Interesting. Fixed a bug where recoilless rifle would consume an extra shell from the backpack if the reload was canceled just after shell was inserted but before the reload was completed dude there's so many bugs in helldivers that i had no idea existed this one's crazy fist fixed issue where the sickle and the quasar cannon could not shoot through foliage so imagine you're about to take out this tank and there's a piece of grass in front of you and this giant plasma ball of death just gets stopped on a piece of grass that's, that's that had to be frustrating for the quesadilla users <laughs> Fix several issues where weapon thumbnails would disappear when scrolling through armory. Holy fixes. Fixed issues where automaton gunships sometimes could not see the player. Damn it, that was an issue? That was not an issue. That was a good thing. You didn't need to fix that. Fixed incorrect collisions being left over after destroying automaton bunkers or detector towers with hell bombs. I am pretty. No, it says with hell bombs. I was like, I'm pretty sure I got stuck under. Uh, an automaton fabricator the other day when I landed my hell pod on it, but that that's a hell bomb, not a hell pod. Fixed issue where hell bombs would not deploy on certain issues. I've never had that problem. Fixed certain issues that result in hell divers drowning in deep water upon landing. Ooh, uh, uh, can they just get rid of drowning in general? Like we're hell divers, are we supposed to swim? Jesus. Fixed issue where hell pod space optimization man made ammo go above capacity. Oh damn, you should have left that one in the game. Dang, dude, there's so many more fixes here. Fix the issue where stalkers became very visible and fall. That wasn't an issue, you bastardos. Fix the issue where stalkers became very visible and fog. They need to be visible, guys. We need to see them. I hate stalkers. I'm gonna cry. Mines are now pingable for better coordination with your team. Maybe if they would have did this before the last major order, we might have unlocked mines. Receiving a friend request now gives the player a pop-up. Well, that's nice. I wonder how many friend requests I have that I've never actually looked at. Improved re readability of prompts and hints displayed in the tutorial and on billboarding. Total experience is now visible in the career tab. I'm going to check that out. Added better support for ultra-wide monitors. Keybinds bound to numpad will no longer reset. Interesting. Fixed inconsistent audio when headphones are plugged into the DualSense controller while playing on PC. Playing rock, paper, scissors in front of the ship. No longer callers this player to fall out into space. What? What? That was a thing? Interesting. The anti-material rifle and MG-206 heavy machine gunner now trigger hit markers while scoped in. Secondary weapon no longer remains in the ballistic shield. ADS positioned after using a stim with the ballistic shield backpack equipped. I personally never use the ballistic shield. I don't see a point in the ballistic shield while there's really no... Uh, one-handed weapons that are good to use so yeah I don't know open text chat is now rebindable re explosive weapons such as eruptor exploding crossbow uh, grenade pistol no longer pulls players inward from the blast that's absolutely incredible before I'd shoot like any bugs or all time and and sometimes I would get sucked into a black hole that is my explosion resulting into my death Disable the squad invites during the tutorial, which cause an overlap in the UI. Fix primary and secondary weapons overlapping on the character's model in the armory. They fixed UI elements during a first boot are cut off on a 21.9 aspect ratio monitor. Report and block player is now visible in the squad menu. Dead scavengers now stop screaming for help if killed while calling in reinforcements. What? 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 Fixed anti-air cannon showing up as stratagem scramblers in danger warnings. Added reload stage for the spear reload after the spent missile has been discarded. So those are all the fixes. Tons of fixes. Uh, were you guys having any issues with those fixes? Let me know in the comments below. The last thing we're going to talk about here are all the known issues, which I'm very sad they haven't fixed a lot of these things. So these are all issues that were either introduced by this patch or are being worked on or from a previous version and not yet fixed. So the first and foremost, the one that kills it for me is the napalm and the breaker incendiary. Damage over time effects may only apply when dealt by the host. We expect to have this fixed in the next patch. So it's been like this for literally, I think months now or weeks. If you are not the host and you're using flame like breaker napalm, it's 
it might not work. Most of the time it doesn't work. So it just sucks. So hopefully they fix that next patch next week. I don't know when the next patch is. Maybe it'll be later this week. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, reinforcement may not be available for some players who join a game in progress. Helldiver may be unable to stand up from crouching when surrounded by enemies. That is the most frustrating thing in the world. Game may crash if the host leaves while dead and rejoins the same play session. Game may crash if the player changes the text language while on a mission. Various issues involving friend invites and crossplay. A uh, friend request cannot be accepted when the requesting player changed their username before the request was accepted. Cross-platform friend invites might not show up in the friend tab. Players cannot unfriend players befriended via friend code. Players cannot unblock players that were not in their friends list beforehand. Players may experience delays in medals and super credit payouts. Enemies that bleed out do not progress personal orders and eradicate missions. Scopes on some weapons, such as the anti-material rifle, are slightly misaligned. Arc weapons sometimes behave inconsistently and sometimes misfire. The spear's targeting is inconsistent, making it hard to lock onto larger enemies. That's the one I think they're going to have fixed next patch, guys. They've been talking about the spear a little bit in their Discord, so I think they're going to have that fixed next patch, but we'll see. Stratagem Beam might attach itself to an enemy, but will deploy right on your head. <laughs> Explosions do not break your limbs, except for when you fly into a rock. Lame. Uh, area around automaton detection tower makes blue stratagems such as the hell bomb bounce and be replaced when trying to call them down too close to the tower planet liberation reaches 100 percent at the end of every mission so those are all the bugs issues fixes and patches in this update i'm super excited to try out the arc blitzer probably the thing i'm most excited for i think or maybe the punisher plasma uh, what are you guys excited for or really disappointed about in this patch note let me know in the comments below i know the community has a lot to say about this patch and i am ready to read those comments so drop some comments below let me know what you think of this patch i appreciate you guys watching thank you to all the wasteland supporters the people that are joining the youtube below the super chatters the super thanks in the comments i really appreciate your support in growing this channel and just making it awesome for me to try and pursue this as like a part-time to a full-time thing much love to everybody out there and i hope to see you guys in the next video